Hello everyone. In the last video, we had seen how to visualize the L2 loss function. In this video, we are going to see how to visualize the binary cross entropy function and we'll see how the decision boundary or the loss values, you know, changes between the binary cross entropy and the mean squared error function. So the binary cross entropy law function formula is written here. It is y minus the predicted log value plus 1 minus y log of 1 minus predicted y value. So this is just for the uh, uh, the binary class. So what how do we normally predict? We on the x axis we will be predicting we will be plotting our predicted value and on the y axis we want to plot the loss. So this is how we want to go about it. So let's suppose that our y hat, the predicted value is between the range of 0 0.1 up to 1 and let me give a step size of 0.1. So my y hat would come as 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and so on. Let's suppose these are the predicted values for different samples these are the predicted values so let us define this particular cross entropy function so if you look at it very carefully when y is 1 when the actual value is 1 then this term this term becomes 0 okay and so we we only consider this particular term and when the actual value is 0 then this terms becomes 0 and you are only you only need to calculate this particular term. So let us define this cross entropy function. So this is the cause cross entropy function. If y is 1, I only want the first part of the equation. Otherwise, I want the second part of the equation. Okay. So we have a predicted values and let's suppose now that the y value is equal to 1. So let us plot the loss for y hat all these predicted values when our y hat the y value is 1 okay so on the x axis you have your predicted values and on the y-axis, you have the actual loss. Okay. So this is your loss. So if your actual y is 1 and the predicted value is 0.1, the loss is quite high. If your predicted value is 0.9, versus the actual value of 1 your loss is quite less okay now how would this compare to the MSE function the mean squared error function so what was the mean squared error function it was the summation of y hat y minus y hat or y hat minus y and the squared okay so this was our root function now for each of this we want a loss value so let me consider a variable let me keep a array of the losses since this is only going to return me one value at a time okay because this is a summation so when our y value is equal to 1 for each of these predicted values we want to get the loss so what we will do is for each of this y hat i want to append in this loss so let us see the so this loss is for the mean squared error loss 
and let me plot both of these laws together. made some mistake here okay I have modified this MSC function a little bit since we are passing only one value at a time so instead of doing a summation uh, here so in the real MSC function you will be passing arrays and then you will be doing the summation okay so, but since we are passing one value at a time, I have removed the summation from here. So, if you see when you plot the cross entropy loss versus the MSC loss, the mean squared error loss, you would find that the actual loss when you apply the mean squared error function, if the predicted value is 0.1 versus the actual value of 1, the loss function in MSC, the loss is quite less than the loss in the binary cross entropy function that is why when we use uh, classification problems we use the binary cross entropy function for the loss function since it penalizes the misclassification quite high okay similarly if you want to plot versus the uh, so when the actual value is zero you can plot the cross entropy when the actual value is 0, what is the loss values and the MSC loss when the actual value is 0, what is the loss function. So let's do that as well. And you would find like when it is 0, the curve, so if the predicted value is 0 0.9, a very gross misclassification, okay, a very high misclassification, your loss function will penalize this particular output okay quite high versus your MSE loss function so this is how you can visualize your loss functions you can create simple okay you can create such simple functions for each of the loss function you can take some of your uh, predicted values as constants versus your actual value what you want why and then you can plot you can then you know if you want to do a categorical cross entropy or any such cross entropy or various other loss functions scale divergence loss etc you can just keep on adding the function definitions and you can visualize how the loss function will behave in case uh, you know you have your different kind of data that you are passing so if it is for the binary function where you want the data between 0 and 1 you would see that your mean squared error functions they penalize the misclassification quite smaller than the binary cross entropy loss functions so that is why in the binary classes you would use the binary cross entropy function I hope this helps you. Thank you.